So today we're going to look at the DOS version of the Oregon Trail, the Oregon Trail Deluxe. This also came out for Macintosh. It's it's but we're looking at the DOS version because it's easy to emulate with DOSBox. Also this music is fantastic. So this was the first real seriously graphical version of the Oregon Trail. I'm going to go ahead and click travel the trail here. You're about to begin a great adventure traveling the Oregon Trail. Uh, yep, I sure am. So let's start. So here the, you, can, you notice there's a lot more professions in in this version of the game. There's a ton, a ton more professions to choose from. But it, at the end of the day, it's still, you get to choose your profession, you get to choose the people in your party. And again, I'm going to go the easy way out, and I'm going to be a banker. Because I'm a pussy, I don't, I don't know. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to take the easy way out with names again. I'm probably just going to always take the easy way out with names instead of being creative. Let's go ahead and look at the different the different professions. So you notice we have the different professions each have bonuses except for a few of like bankers and merchants don't have bonuses. Doctors however do have bonus and once you get into the harder difficulties you have a final score bonus depending on what class you play. I'm I'm probably going to alternate between calling these classes and professions because classes are what they're called in video game terminology, but professions is what they really are. I think I'm actually going to go with the doctor this time. That, it gives me 400 less dollars to spend, but it also means that people are less likely to die, which which is a problem. It's still Matt's general store, by the way. Matt's Matt's gotten a lot older, as you can as you can tell there. So, I mean, obviously this is a DOS game instead of an Apple II game, so we have, we just have a ton more options here than we did the last, the last time. So we're just going to buy, we're going to pretty much buy what we bought last time. Yeah, wait, um, now we get to put out of my food. That'll leave us with enough money. We can always go hunting. So this version of the Oregon Trail I've actually played. And one of the things I remember about this version in particular is that the hunting minigame is extremely easy. You can just walk off with tons of food every time you go hunting. I, I said it before and I'll say it again. This music is this music is awesome. It really it really is. So here we have our little log. You see we have a lot more options now. Um, it's a lot more graphical, obviously. I suppose the options are about the same, but it's it's just a ton more graphical. Let's take a look at our map here. And you can see the, the thing on the top is very similar to what it was, but of course we have the map down at the bottom. And we can actually we actually have a guide that tells you about all the different landmarks, the climates, the rivers, we can have an index here and basically it just everything in the game is in this great little guide. And we can just learn about all of them, which is is a great little hallmark of a uh, educational game. But we're going to go ahead and get started here on the trail. So really, the the walking animation has not changed. Uh, the only thing that's really changed is that now you can see in real time your progress on the on that other part of the screen. I would say that it's a mistake. It was a mistake to clutter up this screen like this. Personally, now that we're playing in a, in a version that can be emulated properly, we get this awesome music that we we missed out on last time. Which, man. Also, I didn't have to wait for that ferry. There was no time involved for that ferry. Just the money. Let's turn across the river here. No, really, I did? Well, I didn't see myself crash, so I guess I must have, huh? Brad has a broken arm. But yeah, I, I just don't think this cluttering was really necessary. I mean, you have all the numbers and facts and everything right there, but it just, it just doesn't look as good. 
as just having the graphical part of it on, on your screen. So we're going to caulk the wagon and float it and hope that we don't it doesn't tip over. And it didn't. I guess I should rest for Brad's arm a few days. So I suppose since it, it talks about the, the weather over here, I suppose that might actually uh, affect what's going on. I don't know. It didn't affect it in the last game, so it probably doesn't here either. But I feel this version advanced in a lot of ways, but it also it also almost feels like it took a step back. It just just in that it's just so overcomplicated compared to the Apple II version. It's just so much shit going on your on on your screen all the time that it, it just it just becomes a little overwhelming. I think. Oh, Blizzard! That's new. Also, Jeff has a broken leg. That is not new at all. So you also, if we click status here, we actually get an individual status for each person. You can see that Jeff has a broken leg, Brad has a broken arm, Ryan and Vinny are good, and I am also good. So we're going to rest a few more days. I don't know if I'm a fan of actually sitting here and waiting for the rest to happen, but I suppose realism. We all know that having a realistic Oregon Trail simulation is essential to the integrity. So we're going to go hunting. You see I get a little mouse and I can just shoot things. It's so much better. But I also have a limit to what I can carry and I'm probably already over that limit. We'll shoot this bison and then end. Yeah. I, I shot at 815 pounds of food but I only was able to carry 200 pounds of food back. So every time I go hunting, I'm only going to be able to carry 200 pounds back. So basically, as soon as I kill a bison, I can I can leave. It also means that I have to take a day out for 200 pounds, and that that kind of sucks, because it seems like we're going through this food really quickly. Also, Ryan was bitten by a snake, but Brad is well again. God, God damn it. The illnesses are coming fast and hard in this version. There's also a timeout button. I'm assuming that's just like a pause button that you can use if you, if you really need to. A thief stole six oxen. That's a pretty good trick. That really is. Ryan's well again. So that's that's better. But that thief somehow stole six oxen, and now another one's sick. So I guess we can try and trade for some oxen. I doubt anyone's gonna have to is gonna be wanting to do that. But for two hundred twenty-four, yeah, I'll do it because I can just go hunting. Oh, I can't do it because there's too many people around. Okay, let's keep going then, so I can hunt. Now oh, this might be kind of sparse. God damn it. I'm terrible at this. I, I really am. Oh, there's a bison. Okay. That's way more food than we needed, but I didn't know how much food each deer gave us, so I just, I just went for it. And then we're going to go hunting again to get another 200 pounds. Maybe. Oh, I think maybe in this game there is a mechanic where if you if you 
hunted in one place more than once, it was exhausted because you already hunted there. Well, shit. These rabbits are impossible to shoot. I don't think I'm getting anything out of this. I really don't. I need to wait till we're a little bit farther. Oh, now it's telling me. Okay, it's telling me about the... the it may have told me that before, and I just wasn't paying attention. It's a very good... Vinny got lost. Just Vinny. Only Vinny got lost. Oh, and so now the wagon's delayed because we lost Vinny. That's pretty great. Oh, we're coming up on a fort. I can buy some more food and some more oxen. Because apparently you can have your oxen, like six of your oxen, stolen by a single person. Which actually is impressive. I'm not even angry. I'm just impressed. Almost there. Okay, let's see if we can... And see if we can buy some stuff here. Buy some oxen. That almost completely just destroys the, the the money we have getting those oxen. Let's just... Yeah, if I don't buy them, though, we're going to be fucked later on. I know it. Alright, so let's go. Let's actually go hunting right quick, get another 200 pounds, and that'll will be good for a while. I think this game forces you to hunt a bit more. Ah, uh, there's a bison. And we're done. Because it seems like the food is just consumed a lot faster at the highest level of rations. Ah, oh, it didn't even ask me to fix it. It's just like, yep, you were able to fix it. Good for you. I I really I really kind of want to see the foley department here for the for the later. I'm sure this is probably all just done with chip sort of like uh, it might have been done with foley, but I definitely want to see the foley department for the later games in the series just to see how they made all these these stupid like wagon wheel breaking sounds and that sort of thing. So much of this game is just waiting. Just waiting for something to happen. And nothing does. And you just sit here. It's like, yep. We're just waiting for anything to happen. Oh, Jeff has typhoid fever. You notice I took the medicine away? There's no medicine. So you can't actually do anything for these people other than rest. Which we're gonna do up here, but. There's actually real variation in the music, even. It changes. And now we're just gonna wait. There's a lot more waiting in this one. A lot more waiting. Which I suppose would have happened in the last one, too, if I actually would have had the CPU speed turned down to a reasonable amount, but hey, whatever. Alright, let's get going. Wow, lots of things happened. So, we had a wagon wheel break and we fixed it, and then we had a fire which destroyed two wagon wheels, two wagon axles, two wagon tongues, and 362 pounds of food. Alright, let's go hunting. Just like real hunting, guys. That has to be 200. Yeah, <laughs> way more than 200. You would really have to suck at that, like really suck at that game to, to waste a whole bunch of bullets there.
We're just sitting here waiting. I'm really sorry for the dead air, but there's not much to talk about when you're just sitting there waiting for shit to happen. Let's see if we can trade for some food. So that I don't have to hunt again. Sorry. That's, wow. That is a really sad looking kid. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll just go hunting. Well, we don't have any money, so we might as well just take the shortcut. And go hunting before we get there. This definitely does seem more difficult. It's, it's more involved than the Apple II version. I am breaking so many hunting laws that didn't exist. Oh, that was a good one. 226 pounds, 200 back. Not much waste there. Brad was bitten by a snake. Of course he was. Of course he was. Now we have to just wait and wait and wait. This game is, again, this game is about waiting. It's all about waiting. We are over halfway to the end of the game. So I, that's nice. It'd be, it'd be real nice if we were getting there faster. No water. Uh, Brad's well again, at least, even though we don't have any water. Almost to the river. I'm going to go ahead and go hunting again before we get to the river. There we go. I wonder... Maybe the maybe the other classes can carry more food back. I didn't pay a ton of attention to the different classes' bonuses, but maybe if I wasn't a doctor, I'd be able to carry some more food back. We're just gonna take the ferry because we still got some money. Oh, that's that's the one thing. Look at all this shit all over my screen. Nowhere. Does it tell me how much money I have? That's great. That's just wonderful. I bet if I click status, it would show me, but... Cholera. Awesome. Everybody else is fine, though. Notice I stop moving when I click status. No, no, not everyone else is fine, because now Ryan has the measles. So I guess we rest for a few days. Health is poor now. Great. Just waiting now. I think, if I remember correctly, this was the first version to come out for DOS, so it's certainly good in that respect, in, in that that if you've never played the Oregon Trail before, this is a pretty great version of the Oregon Trail. It, it is better than the Apple II version, but there's certainly things about, like, there's things that when they're simpler are just better. They're just not as good when you, when you try to make them just extremely advanced. You, you sort of ruin some of the charm when you do that. We're gonna shoot some some food here. I bet if I played this enough I'd probably know how much meat each one of those deer was. Wow. That's probably enough. Watch it's not gonna be. Nope. That was two hundred. And it's only August, so I guess we're it looks like we're kind of making good time. It's hard to tell. I guess we're going to rest because Brad got bitten by a snake. I also think we're probably starting to run out of replacement parts because we have replaced a lot of them.
but then the question is should we actually trade something that we need more for wagon parts though I imagine I could probably just get stuck somewhere I wonder if it tells me anywhere yeah I don't have any wagon wheels left let's see if I can get one no one's got a wagon wheel great let's keep going then I don't know how many bullets I have left. 129. That we're good then. So let's go hunting. And of course, there's absolutely nothing here. Let's try moving. Looks rabbits that I can't shoot because they move too fast. Man, did I pick a shitty place to try hunting. There is literally nothing here but rabbits. No, there's a deer. But I can't shoot. There we go. There, there was something over here for like two seconds. I got... There's nothing here. There, there's... Nope. Oh, well. Try later. Still got 53 pounds of food, though, so it's not total loss. Vinny got lost. Fucking Vinny. God damn it. It keeps getting lost somehow. I, he really just needs to stick with the fucking wagon. Seriously. He keeps wandering off out into the wilderness. And we have to wait, like, five days for him to find his way back to the wagon. Seriously. Seriously. I have no idea how much money I have. Ninety dollars. I guess I could get some. Well, I do need. I definitely need to get a wagon wheel, which is going to cost a lot. That's twenty bucks there. I don't even. Let's see here. To buy any real kind of food, it's going to cost me more than I have. So I think we should probably save some money, so we'll save 30 bucks. And then keep going. Because there's nothing else for us to do. Health is good, at least. And no one's died yet. No one's died yet. I shouldn't say that. I really shouldn't say that. Because now someone's gonna die. But no one's died yet. And we're a lot farther than we were last time. When we... When people started falling off we'll say. Alright, let's go hunting. Like I said, this this game seems to be way more reliant on you being able to hunt for food. Because there's no way you have enough money. Even if I was, even if I had chosen the banker, I wouldn't have enough money to keep buying food. There's no way. That should be enough. That's way more than enough. Okay. Oh, God. I, I always forget I have to click continue there instead of just sitting there and waiting for some, something to happen. No grass for the oxen. Yeah, things are going to start getting really nasty just like they did in the Apple II version. You notice there's no sound here, though, which is kind of weird. There's sound at all the resting places. There's sound pretty much everywhere else, but not here, where you spend the majority of your time playing the game. There's no sound, no music. Well, there is sound. Every time something bad happens, it makes that warning sound, and every time a heart breaks, it makes the crack sound. Yeah, see, there's the warning sound, because Jeff is sick of typhoid fever, and we're going to wait till we get to this river to rest. But we're going to go hunting before then. I'm trying to keep myself at about a thousand pounds of food, which is probably more, more than I need to to do. But whatever. I'm 
I, I'm bad at this. I'm really bad at this. I like that somehow they know they know that I'm going for them and they run off. They just suddenly change direction. Like like what what animal in the wild suddenly changes direction? Just immediately turns around when nothing happens. That that makes a lot of sense. And I'm out of bullets. Am I really out of bullets? God damn it. I better not be out of bullets. That's the wrong button. No, so I guess I just have a limited number of bullets for every time I hunt. It's 20 bullets every time I hunt. Oh well. Brad has the measles. We're definitely going to need to rest when we get up here. And we're going to rest for five days. Hopefully some people will get better, and if not, I guess we'll rest some more. Because we don't have we don't have that much left to do, and it's September, so we can afford to rest. I'd like to get to the end with everybody alive this time. But I don't know. Jeff's well again. Brad's still sick. I guess we can rest some more. And Brad's well again. So I, I rested for way too long that time. Because we're still burning food while we're resting. Still burning through that food. And we're just waiting to finish resting. I really wish it'd just be like, okay, you rested for five days. Instead of sitting here and just... Yes, we will hire an Indian to help for three sets of clothes. Because I really don't want the wagon to tip over now. Because I don't have any money. So I can't, I can't get any supplies that aren't just more food. I'm pretty good on that. But anything else be pretty fucked on. Speaking of which, it's time to go hunting again. I think you're going to see more of the hunting mini game than you're going to see of the rest of this entire game. Just out of necessity. Assuming I can shoot anything. I, I It's kind of annoying that it's just so random. Well, I guess it's not random because there's not much grass here and I could have I could have been paying attention to the fact that there wasn't much grass here. And then that would have told me that, hey, dysentery, yes, dysentery, the, the most well-known Oregon Trail illness. I'm coming up on this fort, though. We'll rest once we get there. We're almost to the end. Man, I really hope I can get everyone there alive. That'd be, that'd be really nice. It's probably not going to happen, but it'd be really nice. Oh, guess I should have rested before the fort. Well, I guess someone had to die. So, let's go ahead and rest for a week or so. We wait for Brad's broken arm to get better or something. On the bright side, Ryan being dead means that we use up less food, theoretically. I don't know if it actually works that way. As soon as we're done here, I'm going to go hunting. Because we're sort of running out of food. And, oh, look, it's a bunny rabbit. I think there's just not going to be much hunting left to be had, which is going to suck because I'm running out of food pretty rapidly. I guess I can decrease rations. That's about all I can do. I haven't seen a bison in forever. Oh, I just had to say that. Just had to say, I should say that more often. I really should. No water. I 
And now we're just waiting. We're just waiting. We'll do a lot of that. There's just a lot of buttons here that don't do anything while I'm while I'm just waiting for these screens to go. And Jeff has the measles. Of course he does. So we're going to hunt, and then we're going to rest a little bit for Jeff's measles. And of course there's nothing here to shoot. And it'll be really nice to actually get to the end. A little bit ago, I was like, you know, it'd be nice if I could get to the end without anyone dying. Now I just like to get to the end without running out of food. That would be nice. But God, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do that. Yeah, there's nothing here. Great. Fantastic. Maybe somebody up here will have food for trade that I can trade for clothes or or something. No grass, bad water, health is poor. Oh, I need to rest. Fuck, I completely forgot about resting for Jeff's measles here. We're almost there though. Look at look at that map. We're almost there. Almost there. Not too much farther. I think that that thing up there might actually be the Williamette Valley. God, I hope it is. But it's probably not. Jeff's well again. Which means everybody's good, I think. Fair, at least. Everybody's fair. Jeff has a broken leg! God damn it! I... An ox died. We're gonna fucking make it there. We are so going to make it there. And that's the... Grande Rond in the Blue Mountains. So we're going to rest for a little bit for Jeff's leg. It's now November, which means it's basically winter. Which is going to be bad. It's going to be real bad. If we're on the trail for that much longer. It's just going to be constant blizzards. And so we should probably not be resting anymore and just haul ass. We're also down to like 400 pounds of food. We're going to take the shortcut. And shoot them, shoot some things in the face while the grass is green. And there should actually be some game here. But there isn't. I like that there's no... there's. They didn't even try it. They have these trees, and they have a sort of background thing with a shrub, some shrubs. But they didn't actually try to make grass. It's just a, a, a green... It, it looks like a green screen. Some of these shots I really don't know I'm missing. Okay, that should be enough. Yeah, that was way more than enough, but oh well. We'll hunt again in a little bit. Because I'm sure we're going to have to. Because we're still running extremely low on food. I could always up the pace, but then people are going to probably die. And I can always lower the rations, but then people are going to probably die. And I'd really rather not people die. But that's just me. I'm go hunting again before we get here, because I think this is where we have to make the choice whether we want to go down the Columbia or take the toll road. I think. If the, if the last game was any indication. Oh, yes, a bison. That, that makes my life so much easier. Now I can just keep going. We're almost there. Fire in my wagon destroyed 146 pounds of food, and so now we got to go hunting again. I'd, li I'd really like to know who's setting these fires in the wagon. It's probably, it's probably Jeff. I would have to guess. I guess this still counts as the area I was just in, I suppose. There we go. And that takes care of all that... All that fire... 
As long as somebody doesn't set another fire in the wagon, we'll be good. Raft down the river, or take the total. I, rafting down the river is faster, I would imagine, but it's also more dangerous. So we're just gonna go. We're still good on food. We're gonna go hunting just to kind of pad those numbers out. I'm pretty sure that we can we can make it to the end. Pretty sure. No guarantees. That's way too much food again. I really wish I could carry more back or just take other people with me and have them carry food back, but I suppose that would make too much sense, wouldn't it? I think I think that's the end. And I took the wrong trail. Of course I did. Right right before the end, took the wrong trail. Fifty miles before what I think is the end, but it's probably not. But it sure looks like it. Jeff's well again. I don't even remember what Jeff's well from. I guess maybe I punched him for setting a fire in the wagon? I don't know. We're almost there, though. Yes! And only one person died. And I wasn't a black... I mean, I wasn't a banker that time. Although, actually, probably being a doctor made that easier because people didn't die as quickly. Okay. So that's the Oregon Trail Deluxe for DOS. Next, uh, next time we're going to take a look at the Oregon Trail 2 for uh, Windows. That was the first version for Windows and Mac. Like, other than, they did port this version to both Windows and Mac, but Oregon Trail 2 was the first real Windows version, and it had FMV, so you, you have that to look forward to. I'll see you next time.